to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, and that means it's time for what, Mac? Open cars. Open cars. All right. So I've got a package this week from, uh, you guys will recognize jo Joaquin, Wisconsin. Um, these are from Jeff. Uh, Jeff's one of the admins over at uh, Vintage Matchbox Live, and it's one of the online auction sites on Facebook. Um, and have, have really had a lot of good experiences buying from Jeff. Uh, he's got good stuff, good prices. So we're gonna see what I got from Jeff. This uh, this auction was actually like a month ago, and um, I just I've been so busy with uh, work and some health recovery and stuff that uh, I haven't had a chance to get to it yet. All right, so this one I do remember. Um, this is the Lambretta scooter. It's a uh, number 36 looks like um, And this is the first one of these that I've ever found ever been able to get and I feel like I got a steal on it a really really good price um, When I see these on eBay going for 80 and a hundred dollars and just crazy money um, and I, I didn't even pay half that for this um, So got a very very good deal on this um, from Jeff. The uh, Royal Tiger Coach, the Leland Coach. I was um, saying car. I've got a couple of these, but uh, this one just looked like it was in such good shape. Um, if it's not mint, it's near mint. And um, I, don't, I don't know if anybody even else, anybody else even bid on this. Um, it was just a great model and felt like I couldn't leave it behind. Uh, this one wasn't sure what this said. Earhart disc brakes. Um, I don't know if that was maybe something done as a giveaway by a company or if a child just decided to customize it themselves. But uh, this is the series number 22 Pontiac GP Sports Coupe. Um, and I have one of these in my collection, but the one that I have is really rough. It is missing both the doors. Um, it's very, very heavily play worn. Just uh, kind of used and abused. I think I picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents or something like that. So um, to have one that's nice and complete, um, happy to, to add that to the collection. Got a Fire Chief. This is the 55, 59 Ford Galaxy. Um, a little toasty on the the white there on the top, but uh, original decals are all in. Oh, we're missing the driver's decal on the door, um, but not a bad model. Again, when I can pick these up very reasonably priced, I like to buy in bulk. Um, super excited about this one. I've got a couple of these, these Fiat 1500s, um, in various different states. A lot of mine are missing the piece on the top. Um, this is a nice little model. It's, you know, playwear, high edge wear. Um, this one was well loved by a child. Um, but nice little piece still. So these ones, I really have an affinity for these little milk bands, these little Comer bottle floats, uh, they call them. Um, this is a, an original. This is a later. It's got the black plastic wheels and the later decal set on it. Um, but I've got quite a few of these, and uh, I just love them. They're just a fun little model, and uh, I'm trying to put together all my different variations on these. So This one I was super excited about. Um, so this one came up. Uh, this is the Comer Ice Cream Canteen, number 47. Um, and you can see the little dude is intact. The, There's uh, another one. His ice cream cone is intact. Um, and all the glass is great. Decals are really nice and clean on that. Um, I've got a couple of these that are really roached and toasty, and uh, this is definitely the nicest one of this variation that I have now. Um, so when that came up, absolutely couldn't leave it behind. Got the crane, crane cans. I don't think that's original. Um, made in England by Leslie. This is number 42, uh, the Iron Fairy Crane. Nice little piece, got the toe hook intact. Very little edge wear on it, just a couple little spots. And uh, hydraulics are operable, and it stays up on its own, that's always good. 
And then last but not least, uh, the piece I was the most excited about in this lot is uh, one of these snow tracks. Um, this is a variation that has no decal and no raised letter in there. Um, I have all the different variations on this casting now, but uh, this one has something that none of my others have, and that is it has the original treads intact. Um, so super excited to get that. I uh, got a great price on that from Jeff. And uh, as always, like I said, he, he runs really good auctions. I get good stuff, good prices from him. So, if you guys are looking for uh, other venues to get cars, um, check out the Vintage Matchbox Live face Facebook page um, and the different options that are on there. I have uh, one more mail call video that I'm going to do next week. With uh, I've done two of the sellers now. I think uh, Tim Campbell and then Jeff here, um, uh, Jay Harvey. And uh, I've got one more, um, Lori Fenske, and I'm going to open Lori's box next week. So thanks so much for joining us. And as always, have a, a great week. Come back and check out our videos next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. <laughs>